everyone welcome back in today's video we are going to be crafting out on my patio we're going to be doing some fun and fabulous diy dollar tree decor crafts so definitely click subscribe if you guys are new join my little romantic family we have so much fun crafting and decorating thank you guys again for being here and let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm sharing with you all how to make a super adorable little side table using two of the Dollar Tree wire baskets. And so I just zip tied the wire baskets end to end and I only needed two zip ties for this project. And then I have um, a little burner cover and I'm gonna use that for the top part of my basket. So once those two were together, I also decided to jazz it up just a little bit with some of the Dollar Tree nautical rope. Now you guys could use a ribbon, you could use any color of rope that you love, um, or you could just forego this part, but I thought it would be fun to add that and just kind of make it look like a little bit summery. And this could also go for a coastal theme. So any of the DIYs that you all see me do, always remember you can change it up to suit your home decor. The next thing I wanted to do was add my top to my table. So I used E6000 glue and some hot glue, and then I'm gonna pop the burner cover on. On. And that was really cute, but I decided to customize it to match my summer decor. And so using a bunch of Waverly White chalk paint or any chalk paint is really great because it has great coverage. Um, I just added that to the top of the burner cover, let it dry. And I think I only needed one coat. Then now I'm taking this napkin from Hobby Lobby. It's one of those lemon napkins. You guys can also find lemon napkins at Dollar General for a buck. And I just cut out the shape of the burner cover and then I did detach um, the second part of the napkin so there's like a little white liner on the back of the napkin I took that apart and then added Mod Podge and I'm using waterproof Mod Podge which you guys can get at Walmart or your local craft store I wanted it to be waterproof so I could set my drink on it um, but I am just adding the napkin back on and kind of straightening it out here and then adding one more layer of Mod Podge to the top of that and again waterproof Mod Podge is great if you're making a tabletop because it will seal it and it makes it waterproof. So if you have a cold drink, it won't, you know, mess up your pretty design. And again, think about this, you guys could pop into Hobby Lobby and buy pretty much any kind of design paper that you wanted and customize that paper to match your little summer decor or really any decor. This wouldn't necessarily even have to be for summer. Okay, so now I'm just adding some nautical rope again to the side of this to match the other nautical rope and also just to kind of jazz it up and give it a little bit of style here. And also think about this, if you guys wanted to do a glam table, you could always use bling wrap um, in place of the rope and then do like a really pretty little glam top. Ooh, you could even do glitter as the top. So here is how it looks popped in to my little summertime spring setup here. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to decorate for this new season. I still do have to pack up my Easter decor, but check this out, you guys. I thought it was a really cute little table idea for only a couple of bucks. Next DIY, I want to share with you all how to make an amazing Dollar Tree hula hoop wreath. That's right. I grabbed a hula hoop from the Dollar Tree and then I'm using this burlap and I just added a little layer of hot glue for my first part of the burlap and then I'm just going to wrap the hula hoop in the burlap. Now think about this, you guys could always just cut strips of fabric, which I have totally done before, um, if you wanna do like a different look. So if you had an old white sheet, you could cut that and cover that with it if you don't have the burlap. You could also spray paint it as well. Now Dollar Tree is carrying these super nice longer picks. I found them at my store yesterday. I grabbed them, I knew I wanted to use them for a wreath. And so I'm just taking them and putting these long stems 
ends end to end. You guys could really grab any floral greenery stems um, and you guys could use anything on this wreath that you prefer. I wanted to do a greenery look. I've done a lot of floral wreaths this year and I plan to do more, but I thought for this one it would be fun to do just greenery. So I used several bundles and then to really make sure they're secure on here, I'm using zip ties to attach them. I'm gonna put this out on my back patio area and I want them to stay on. Now here's a little hack that you guys can use with any floral stem bundle. You can take it and bend it in half and you don't even have to cut it and that way it's sturdy on there together and you guys can always reuse it for another project. And again, I'm zip tying these in multiple places underneath the leaves um, further up so you don't see the zip ties. But right here, I'm gonna add a really pretty bow. And this last set of greenery and little white flowers were from Walmart and they were about three bucks a bundle. The next thing I'm gonna do is grab some leftover Christmas ribbon. This is Buffalo check plaid ribbon, but you guys use any ribbon that you love. Choose any color or pattern that you love that you're decorating your home with. Dollar Tree even has some cute ribbon as well. I wanted to go for Buffalo check because I'm at the end of the roll and I need this roll gone, but I also thought it'd be super cute to go in with lemon decor. I'm using my easy bow maker and I'm making about a six to seven inch bow. You just push your ribbon in there side to side, side to side. It's so seriously easy, you guys. Um, and I'm just gonna trim that off and then I'll show you a quick little hack too about how to make some easy tape. So to make some tails, you can grab an extra strand of that ribbon, however long you want it for your tails, and tie your bow on with that extra strand of ribbon. That's just something I came up with on the fly. I thought it would be great, and it actually works pretty good. Um, so then you can give your bow a nice good fluffing and this is going to be the secret to any great bow is playing with it. You really want to pull those loops out. I'll even take my hand and just like push it in there. Don't forget to dovetail your ends by cutting an upward triangle in the ends of your ribbon and voila, you have a fabulous hula hoop wreath on a budget with a little bit of greenery and a pretty bow and nobody would ever know, at least I don't think anybody would ever know that that is a hula hoop. These types of wreaths are so in style right now and I can see why they're really cute. They're easy to hang, they're easy to do. They don't take a lot of product. So if you need something quick and easy for the summer, this is definitely a go-to. So for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna use eight of these little wooden squares and I wanna create a little Dollar Tree kind of planter box. So I'm just using hot glue to glue my little cubes together and I did remove the little drawer part of the cube and I am going to save that for another project. And <laughs> so you could just kind of hot glue these together and you can always use wood glue, but just for speed purposes, I went ahead and used hot glue and it seemed to work fine. I don't know, comment, let me know if this is okay to do, but it was working for me, so I went for it. The next thing I wanted to do was glue all my little cubes together. So I'm just gluing them end to end, end to end, end to end, and that's gonna create one big planter box. And I'm gonna use this in my kitchen. I know exactly where I wanna put it, above my Hoosier cabinet. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, so once everything is all glued together, you guys can customize this. So grab some chalk paint. I'm using white chalk paint. You can use acrylic paint. You can use stain, whatever decor style you're going for paint it and make it look like you guys want it to look. And you guys can use this for anything. You could um, use it for florals, you could use it for dividing, you could use it for craft storage, so many little options. I am going to make a pretty easy, easy, easy little floral in it with some greenery and a couple of lemons popped in. It's gonna be so easy and fun. Now, here's a fun little hack you might wanna try. Grab an inexpensive paper plate. I found these paper plates at Hobby Lobby. They were like five bucks and then 40% off that. So they were super inexpensive, super cute, and we're gonna use them for DIYs. So I'm just cutting out the square that's going to fit the front of my little planter box here or a cute little box. I don't know really what would you go, guys would call it, but I just cut out squares that size and I'm gonna decorate it with um, the little lemon plate, which I thought was a pretty fabulous little idea. I feel like 
I was a little disappointed that Hobby Lobby didn't have more lemon decor to choose from, but I was also excited in the same sense because I knew I could DIY some for my kitchen. Um, they did have cute stuff and I felt like the best deal was definitely the lemon plates and lemon napkins because I'm going to get a lot of bang for my buck on those. Now I'm taking a stem of greenery from Walmart and then this stem of like little white flowers from Walmart. I think they're three bucks and you get a lot on them and they look really nice. And so I detached all of the um, little stems off of there or the little end to ends and I'm just popping them directly into this little box. I didn't want to hot glue anything. I didn't have floral foam with this. So I just cut them short enough to where you could just kind of pop them right in and hey, it worked perfectly. Once this goes up on a shelf, I don't think anybody's going to mess with it. So I, I think it'll be fine. But if you guys were to put this somewhere that you needed some floral foam, definitely put floral foam down in there if you need your arrangement to stay a little bit better. But here's how it looks popped into my easy peasy lemon squeezy little summer spring decor idea. I was so excited for this. I feel like it's something that you would see, you know, at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx for definitely more than a couple of dollars here. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I have to share with you all how to create a super amazing Dollar Tree wall sign or wall hanger or wood sign. So we're going to create kind of like a faux wood look here by taking the love signs. I'm just taking two of these larger signs and these were from Valentine's Day and I'm just going to chalk paint them and I chose white because this is what matches my decor, but really you guys could choose any color that you love. So go ahead and paint it up and I did also sand the little spots where um, the little hearts were at. Hey, I love these signs. I always pick up a couple extra to craft with um, and then one to decorate with. But anyway, I'm going to flip it over and then add some popsicle sticks to the back of it. And that is going to keep this sign held together. And I will tell you that I have reused this sign for multiple seasons and multiple projects and it works. It stays together. The next thing I want to do is customize it with this Dollar Tree Home Sweet Home. And this is one of their garden flags. They are out right now in your store. Um, you could look in the garden section and they're kind of tucked away. You know, they might be hanging in and around different areas. I find them in different areas in different stores, but this home sweet home flag works perfectly for a sign, you guys. I was so stoked to find out this. And the next thing I was really excited was that Mod Podge works really great with these flags. So if you find a really cute little garden flag at Dollar Tree, they're kind of thin and flimsy, but hey, they work perfectly for signs. Another idea would be to use a pizza pan. That's really what I wanted to use, but Dollar Tree has been sold out of pizza pans for I don't know how long in my area. So anyway, you're going to add a nice layer of Mod Podge to your sign and then you want to lay your flag down and then you can just mod podge over that and that's going to seal it in and I did cut my little flag out it did have a blue background which was cute but I wanted to um, tone it down just a little bit and make it kind of like a little bit French country French farmhouse chic and so there you have that and if you wanted to go a step further you could add a bow or some greenery or whatnot I decided to not add a bow yet <laughs> and I'll tell you why because I still need to to pull down all my Easter decor and then start working with some of my new spring summer decor and what looks good in my kitchen and what accent like patterns I want to use. I'm probably going to go with stripes or buffalo check if I do decide to add a bow. So just a little side note there, but I was super pumped for this project. It came out looking really nice and you don't have to use your Cricut, although I do love using my little Cricut, but it's just so fast and easy. And also I wanted you guys to know that Dollar Tree has a rooster flag that they just put out. I found it yesterday. So check for the little garden flags and there's a gnome one, a lemon one, a rooster one. There's some really, really cute ones and you guys could really make some adorable adorable signs and the garden flag doesn't bleed either that's another thing you know you always have to watch out for when you're using Mod Podge or some type of adhesive glue you may also be able to use a spray adhesive for this project as well I haven't tried that but that's just a little side note and I thought it turned out really super stinking cute 
with this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with y'all how to create a super easy little small mini tipsy pot. So you guys loved my first tipsy pot that I did. I did a really large one, but now I'm going to take three of these little Dollar Tree garden planters and they come in a three pack. So there's only a dollar there. And then I'm going to use a wooden dowel and I did drill a hole in two of my planters and that's all I needed. I actually drilled it in three, but I only needed it in two anyway. And then you're just gonna take and put something heavy in the bottom. I chose some of these stones and then you can just run your little um, planters on top of them. And then I did add a little bit of foam to the tops of these because I don't want my florals popping out, but you guys could really get creative. You could make a succulent tipsy planter. I'm making this kind of like little herb lavender tipsy planter. I think this would be cute in my kitchen window or maybe even on a little side table. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to decorate for this new season. But anyway, this actually is lavender from Walmart. You guys can find this also at Dollar Tree, but I'm kind of low on my Dollar Tree lavender, so I thought I would use this. And it holds up really nicely. It doesn't shed as bad as the Dollar Tree lavender it does. And so then the next thing I wanted to add was some of my little greenery. So this is just reindeer moss from Dollar Tree. It's actually just moss, I believe. The reindeer moss has a little bit of a different texture to it. But anyway, pop in some moss, have fun with it, add some more greenery, Get creative and go for it, you guys. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take some lemon napkins. Now I grabbed two sets. Actually, I have the $1 napkins from Dollar General and then the other napkins are from Hobby Lobby. Now the Hobby Lobby napkins, I feel like are a little bit more high end looking, but grab whatever you guys have and whatever you can find. Dollar Tree does put out a lemon napkin, but it doesn't have this pretty lemon on it. Um, so anyway, I'm using some Mod Podge and a Dollar Tree charger, and I'm gonna create a really giant oversized charger to use for decor purposes. This is one of my favorite tricks to do is taking a napkin and a large charger and making it look really beautiful. A large charger in this lemon pattern would definitely be really expensive at a TJ Maxx or Hobby Lobby and we're gonna do it on the cheap. So again, I laid down a layer of Mod Podge and I do like to use the waterproof Mod Podge when at all possible. Um, the waterproof Mod Podge is good when you're gonna need to wipe something down. So if I was gonna use this as a charger I could easily wipe it off you know if something had dropped out of it on it now remember that no Mod Podge is food safe so if you are going to be creating a plate don't use Mod Podge or paint on your plate that you're going to eat off of that's just a little side note I do get that question here and there um, you, these are just for decor purposes I promise you so anyway I'm adding a generous layer of Mod Podge to the outside of my plate now and that way it's going to really seal this little napkin in. Now I will also tell you, I kind of made a mistake with this. I wish that I would have painted my charger white first and then added the napkin in and taken that white layer off. I was kind of trying to do it a little bit too fast um, and I was a little impatient with it. So I thought that the silver wouldn't show through, but the silver did show through just a little bit. And so that's just a little side note. If you guys want that really crisp, clean look like the um, look that I got on my little table that I did. You may want to paint your charger white first, 
chalk paint is the best paint for that it sticks to those chargers really well and then add your napkin on and then peel off that white layer of napkin so that's just a little side note but i think it did turn out fabulous anyway i'm definitely going to be using this possibly in my dining room or kitchen um, because i am going to be going with some lemon decor in those spaces i love the bright happy sunshine vibes but i think you know it's uh, beach vibes and strawberries and peaches and just anything kind of fruity is fun for summer or you guys can just go black and why i know there's so many different fun options um, but i hope this gives you guys some idea on how to add a little bit of bright sunshine oh sunflowers are also a fun one for a summer anyway i hope you guys are loving this and having a blast and getting inspired to create something of your own um, whatever napkins you have in your stash go for it get creative and have fun Now for this next DIY, I'm gonna be doing it really simple. I'm taking one of the Dollar Tree chargers and I'm just going to chalk paint it white. And I did use two layers of chalk paint on this charger. I will tell you why I love chalk paint. It adheres to pretty much any surface and it just sticks on there really, really well. It doesn't slide off. And I like to use the Waverly White chalk paint from Walmart. So anyway, that's just my little tip from me to you. So the next thing I wanted to do, I got a little bit of black acrylic paint and I put it on one of these Dollar Tree sponge brushes. And these work really well for this kind of little detail fun work if you don't wanna get a regular brush wet. But I'm just rimming the edge of it and I wanna make it look kind of distressed and farmhouse house chic i noticed that hobby lobby does have like a lot they have a large section of this kind of enamel wear look um, it's really easy to create you just use a little bit of black paint and go along the edges where you think something might look worn um, so here is how it turned out I think it looks really really cute I think we're nailing it um, in my opinion for that kind of aged vintage look okay so another idea is to take one of the Dollar Tree flower and garden planters and chalk paint that way again I used two coats of chalk paint and I just want to share with you guys different ways that you can create this enamel wear look okay so this again I'm just rimming the black of the little flower and garden planter I'm adding just a tiny bit of black to the outside of it and then I'm rimming the bottom part and that's going to make it look kind of like that vintage old-fashioned enamel wear look but you're not going to pay the high prices like you're going to see in the decor stores and you guys can give this look to pretty much anything um, that chalk paint will adhere to so anything that you guys want to make have that like farmhouse chic look that french country now french country i think you might want to do more of a cream as your chalk paint base i noticed theirs are a little bit softer but the farmhouse look definitely is still hot to try and you guys can easily achieve that a little bit of chalk paint and some creativity <laughs> so i hope this gave you guys some ideas on something a little bit different um, that you guys can do to create that look without breaking the bank here's another dollar tree diy you all might want to try i'm taking one of those dollar tree um, longer trays and again i'm using chalk paint and i'm just going to chalk paint the tray white i did the entire thing and i did give it two coats and i do like to wait about an hour between coats sometimes 30 minutes but really an hour gives it a nice time to kind of set up and then you can apply another coat and it doesn't peel off that's what i do love about chalk paint and i use the white waverly chalk paint you guys can grab that at walmart and it a little bit does go a long way so anyway i gave it a nice generous layer two coats and then I felt pretty sufficient with that. Now I want to give it kind of that age rustic look, less actually rustic and more kind of farmhouse look like you see like an enamel tray. So again, I'm taking my little sponge brush and I'm just rimming the sides. And then if you get a little bit too much, you could always use a tad of sandpaper or even like a wet cloth to wipe some of it off. And then you want to rim on the inside of that. So these are just some fun ideas for you guys to get creative, hopefully on a budget um, maybe even things you might already have in your stash or that you have laying around that you could revamp this is a really really cute look I did notice like a Hobby Lobby and um, a lot of the decor stores are really showing a lot of kind of you know this just white with a little bit of aged look okay and then now I'm going to share with you guys how to create like a little vignette with these you can take some of these Dollar Tree candle um, 
holder things and these are new at least new to my store I just found them yesterday so check out the store they come in white or gold I pop some votives in and I just put some of the little white rocks you guys could use any rocks but Dollar Tree does carry these cute little white rocks they finally had them in at my store so as always, I ask you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video. I will be announcing the candle giveaway as well. I love to ask you guys a secret question. Last time I asked you, how do you guys decorate for a summer? Um, but this time I want to ask you guys, what is your favorite summertime treat? I would love to know. I'll announce that candle giveaway later on in the day on my social media accounts. So definitely look for it. It's going to be a three piece flickering flameless candle set. And I love those. They're so amazing. But comment down below what your favorite summer treat is. I would love to hear from you guys. It was 86 degrees today, so it was definitely feeling a little bit more like summer. I love y'all, and I'll talk to you very soon. so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure you guys i am so thankful to have you all here i hope everybody had a gorgeous blessed easter and i have my little assistant benji bear here he is ready for me to play with him i don't know if you can see him <laughs> but anyway i can't wait to share more videos with you guys out on my patio this is going to be so much fun we've got an amazing season um don't forget to follow me over on facebook as well i share several several diy videos a day over there as well as I have a little Instagram page and I share a good morning cup of coffee with you guys. So anyway, I hope you guys are totally inspired to craft and decorate. We have a brand new season to get ready for. So I love y'all. I'm wishing you a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And we'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.